And welcome to In Game Chat for Saturday, November 16th, 2013. This is Season 7, Episode 40. I'm Scott. I'm James. And I'm RJ. Welcome to the show. If you'd like to get in touch with us, our phone number is 334-272-9228. You can find us on Twitter at In Game Chat as well as on Facebook. You can email us, everyone, at ingamechat.net. And we are streaming the cam feed right now through Twitch, as always. And you can find us there as well as joining the chat room live while we broadcast. Speaking of the cam feed right now, if you are watching it, you do not see us as normal. You, uh, yeah, Moltal jumped in the chat room. Hello, and wow, what is going on? Um, we've got it hooked up here to where the camera is focusing on the, uh, I brought in the PS4. Uh, we've got it hooked up, and we got the camera focusing on the uh, the PS4, the TV screen right now. So we're going to be showing that um, for the majority of the show. Pretty much all of it is what we're prepared to do, and just kind of we'll talk about going over the UI and uh, give you commentary on that because obviously there are people who are going to be listening to this later and not either watching it on YouTube or um, could be listening it listening to it to the radio. So we want to give you as good a description as possible, but we'll also you'll also be able to see that um, as it's happening. On uh, on the screen there, so we got the PS4 up and running. It is connected to uh, PSN. It is not down, although it, there have been plenty of people who have had issues with it. Um, but that's going to be the case because there's a ton of people um, accessing. I mean, look at that number. What do I have? Twenty two people online. That is the most I have ever seen on my con my on your PSN uh, console friends list. Yeah, exactly. Active at any one time. Exactly. Uh, with the exception of maybe like uh, some of their exclusives, you know, like Metal Last Gear. Last of Us. Metal yeah, Gear. Last of Us stuff like that. Even then, though, I don't ever think it reached that many. Um, My Xbox friends list hasn't reached that many in a long it's time, It's been actually. a long time, isn't it? And when it did, they were all on Netflix or <laughs> playing GTA or something, again, that would excuse mm. such a high number of people active at one one moment. Yeah, it's so uh, it's... Um, it's My Steam list, however. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> Routinely has twice that number online. Usually not uh, not as many playing, but they're all online. Um, so, yeah, but we've got that set up. We're hoping this is going to work out. And, and it's uh, off-camera footage. We do apologize for that. It was sort of a last-minute arrangement. We didn't know how to – we didn't know if there was a way to – we didn't have an opportunity, let me say, to configure the Twitch app and to be able to find a way to output our audio that we use here at the station. So – as a quick and dirty solution, it's off-camera footage. It's going to look a little bit strange. We apologize. The frame rate is a lot less than we'd like. But for the time being, only having a few hours to set it up, we thought you'd be more interested in looking at a slightly laggy screen full of not that many games yeah. uh, rather than us. Yeah, for uh, for the most part there. Uh, do not have any games. In fact, the games that I have are, I think, in a mailbox across the street from the radio station right now. That you cannot get into. That I cannot get into because I don't have a key to do that with. But um, I have all my, because I'm at work so much and because I change locations of where uh, I'm going to be any particular week, I have, I know I'll always be at work. So I have Gamefly and Amazon send my stuff here to work. And that's how I get it. And uh, it turned out so well this time. I know, worked great. I have nothing to play except for the two free games that came with the uh, with PS Plus, um, and that's it. I, I I wrote about this on on in game chat about ingamechat dot net about the launch title lineup, and we talked briefly a little bit about it, but uh, last week. But there is plenty of games that I'd like to play. There's hardly a one that I want to own. Um, if you understand what that means, I don't really want to go out and buy these. I do want to play Killzone, but I do not want to spend sixty bucks on playing Killzone. I just I'll be glad to pay the the, the rental fee of a red box if it, it would ever work, um, or if they would ever get it. Uh, Which is actually a little surprising. Here. They made such uh, they made so much noise. They made a big fuss when Microsoft was like, "We're not when, doing." When rentals. Microsoft said they weren't doing it, they specifically went out of their way to talk about what a bad idea that was. They got out in front of the argument. They supported the notion that PlayStation was going to offer basic, straightforward, uh, last-gen, previous-gen, kind of going all the way back, uh, rental experience. Uh, and then uh, come the 15th of November, they've got nothing to show for it. Yeah, the best I have heard is from a forum post that said, it seems like it's in a limited release at the moment. And I, I haven't seen actually actual any proof of that, but and I haven't seen an article stating that, so... You know, word of mouth through a uh, through a forum post. Uh, Multal asks Scott, "Are there any free to play games?" Yes, there are. Um, Blacklight Retribution, DCU Online, and a game called Warframe. 
DCU Online, uh, I'm a little bit curious about because that's... That is DC Universe Online. That is the uh, comic-based free-to-play action in the mm-hmm. And that was the game that um, the, the one guy who got a lot of attention on Gaff was downloading, and uh, it hung up in the download, and he unplugged his system. Oh, was this, then... the, uh, was this the, like, the tragic clown? Yeah, yeah, really. That was him. And then I heard from, I want to say it was somebody on COG or through a Twitter post that said, hey, Warframe's a great game, but do not download it right now. It has a lockup during an update that it needs. Um, and it locked up his system, and I was like, okay. So uh, I did see Daniel playing, not Dennis, but Daniel playing uh, Blacklight Retribution. Um, I do not have that downloaded. War Thunder is coming uh, later on. and uh, Planet forward- Side 2 is coming later on. Right, yeah. A lot of, a lot of free-to-play games, actually. So. Yes. It's a shame that not as many of them as we had expected are available uh, day one, minute one. But... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're going to say about that. I don't know how many people can find a way to be philosophical about the release lineup, uh, whether it's uh, AAA titles or mid-range retail titles, free-to-play titles, PS Plus downloadable titles. I don't really know what to say. I'm a little more, as I say, philosophical about it because this is a not unfamiliar set of circumstances in the world of PC. Mm. Uh, Obviously not across the board, right? but, you know... You get your game, you download your game, you install your game, you realize it's uh, unfinished, unpolished, unoptimized crap. Not really. <laughs> it's probably it's probably perfectly good. But in the moment when you can't play it, in the moment when it absolutely doesn't take advantage of your hardware, when it doesn't perform as advertised, when people can't connect, when it when it's just a hot mess, regardless of what it may be a week from now, at the moment, it's garbage. Yeah. So when you can't play what you paid for, it's garbage. There's at least a little bit to do here. There's uh, funny robots that'll set your hair on fire. Right. Uh, Rezogun is, an I'm R- not even kidding. It's an RJ game. It, <laughs> it was actually quite a lot of fun. We had fun playing it yeah. last night for a while. Um, I don't know anything about Contrast. It didn't get wonderful responses no, on the PC side of things, but again, as a thing you didn't pay for, mm-hmm. uh, for PlayStation access, I, I don't. I don't know. You can either say it's worth every penny, or you can say that uh, you're out nothing and it's certainly easier to enjoy something that you didn't spend any money right. on. Right. I've also got Flower downloaded. That's because I bought it on the PS3 and it carried over into their PS4 game, which is nice to know that there could be some cross buy titles. Now, my save game didn't translate from the PS3 version to the PS4 version, but the fact that I purchased it did. So if they start to implement more of that, being, bringing over some of their other PSN titles, uh, let's put it on PS4. There's not much we have to do with it other than, you know, uh, I don't really know. There shouldn't be very much they have to do with it. The save won't transfer, but the fact that you already bought it will, and you can still download it. So there are some cross-buy titles like that, or at least so far there is a, uh, a cross-buy uh, title. Uh, Bullet Food in the chat room. Hey, Matt, uh, this is, uh, you know, enjoy watching this is what you can expect when you get back and uh, get your PS4. Um Hopefully you still have a PS4 to get when you get back. I'm assuming you made that you had that conversation um, with the store manager of the store where you reserved it at because, because a couple you of told days, me a few days before a few days before uh, pickup time. Uh, I guess maybe it was about Monday or Tuesday. No, actually it was last Sunday. It was Sunday when they called you. It was last Sunday, and uh, Scott and I reserved ours at GameStop, and so they started making all of their calls. They wanted to give people a heads up about what the situation would be. They were trying to sell that additional 90% trade in value for any hardware and software traded in towards your PS4 pre-order. And they specifically said, uh, pre-order, paid off or not, we will not be holding your system past the end of business on Saturday. That's today. So another two and a half hours from now, regardless of whether or not you pre-ordered it, they will be releasing your console for sale to people that have been put on the list. Yeah, could be a good um, Sunday morning for some uh, people who didn't get a system. It really could. Mm-hmm. Uh, and anecdotally, we've heard that there are upwards of 2 million people on GameStop's waiting lists. So this is what we've heard. These are reports. These are rumors. These are things stated yeah. by executives and distributed online. What's really, really interesting is they have cut off pre-orders. They cut off pre-orders a long, long time ago. Regardless, just about every retail location still managed to secure a very specific portion of consoles 
only for walk-ins. They could yeah. not be pre-ordered. They had and, and I thought about this because the guy, one of the guys at the at the GameStop here, was talking about uh, his extras. He's like, "Yeah, we do get extras because in the amount of time that people." pre-order that game because you've been able to pre-order since june and it's november now and the, that amount of time funds can't be secured maybe you move and you're not going to be here when it releases that sort of thing so you would think that oh that's how maybe they get extras well no because if somebody cancels theirs it just goes to the person in the back of the line of the pre-order right list. someone else gets bumped up and they get a call yeah. and they say hey would you like to actually you know put the pre-order down would you like to actually put the money down but in this case that is not what's happening it looks like purely for the sake of making sure that launch day demand is sustained at some level, any yeah. level, they have, from from Sony, this is not just, well, you know what, I don't want to make an assumption. Mm -hmm. What we know is that there is a certain portion of game uh, of systems unavailable for the pre-orders that exist in a, in a specific pool that are only for walk-ins, only for the people that showed up at the allotted time. Uh, for GameStop, this was... Six o'clock. Six p.m. yesterday. Yeah. 6 At that point, they would start cashing out. Oh, well, six p.m. Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Sorry, it feels <laughs> like one long three days <laughs> to me. But yes, you're right. Six p.m. Thursday. Six p.m. Thursday yeah. prior to the midnight launch, where they said, "Okay, just get in line, and however many extra we have, you have access to those." But those were unavailable for anybody to pre-order in any of the weeks leading up to the launch. It it seems. Uh, based on the things that have been said by spokespersons from these various companies, that this is entirely about making sure people still believe they can get walk-in purchases. Supply and demand situation. Deter Lavis uh, says walk-ins equals bundles. Uh, no, actually, these were just these were standard four hundred dollars systems. Yeah, straight up systems. That's what and this these is were. Amazon did the same thing for a matter of minutes. Yes, they had pure three hundred and ninety nine launch day systems. They did. Unadulterated, unbundled. They also had bundle systems. They had they had an, an an extra amount of systems that once midnight hit, I think midnight Eastern probably, once that hit, uh, they opened it up so that people could uh, start buying those, and it lasted up until I got. I, I say it's about ninety minutes. I think. About, I think it lasted about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half because I got back and, and by I the time we by by the time we escaped from GameStop, I, I think it was done, done and over with. Yeah. Um, and Matt says that he had a friend pick it up Friday, so he does have a PS4. That, All right, that's uh, that's really really good because again, it looks like there were plenty of walk-in uh, pickups available for a number of people, depending on your city and your location, which retailers you had available in that location. Some WalMarts seemed to have them, some didn't, some Targets, but others not. Uh, what else do we have? Best Buys. Best Buy. And then a bunch of, I don't know, a bunch of weirdo Canadian retailers that I've never heard of. I mean, I really haven't. I don't know who they are. I know, Like I know. Tim Hortons or something. <laughs> do they sell PS4s <laughs> while you're there to get some, like, some, some poutine or something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think of any retails we got, uh, other than H.H. H. Greg, I can't think of any others. Yeah, around here, yeah. I don't know. Maybe Kmart. Uh, I, I honestly Maybe. don't know. But the point yeah. is, I think that uh, I haven't followed up on any of the specific threads or discussion forums that were trying to track uh, the availability of, of pickups, but I believe that stuff was probably exhausted within a day Yeah, in almost every place, under almost all conditions. Mm -hmm. Getting some questions from the chat room now. Uh, Nathan says, Scott, did you plan to upgrade your hard drive? Also, did you use PSN or a thumb drive to update it? This is interesting. Um, we did open up, uh, we opened it up just to look at the, the housing where the, where the hard drive is. We popped that off into the look at it. Which is incredibly user accessible. It is. It's very it's user a, accessible. It's a, it's a completely toolless type of access. It's a little bit of pressure. And, I mean, you've likely seen the videos, or, mm -hmm. or a lot of you are likely to have seen the videos, but it's just a little bit of pressure on the, on the glossy portion on the side plate. Uh, down and out, it slides off, and then there's a thumb screw. Yeah. How big is the hard drive in there? 500 it's a, gigs? It's a, two, it's a 500 gig, two and a half inch. Okay. That's Laptop what you're style. asking, yeah. Okay. Uh, we did check it out, and you only get 409. Was that the yeah, there's, size? Yeah, uh, system allocation plus OS eats up about 20% of the drive. Mm. Yeah, this was before I put anything on the system, before I downloaded anything on here or anything else. It was Everything else was clean. It just said, here's your free space, 409 uh uh, gigs of space. It's not very much. It feels like it's not very much, I guess. But Well, that's um, going to be dependent on where you're coming from. I never upgraded my PS3's hard drive. And I never did mine yeah. either. And I... That's the one of the first I had things a 40 I did with gig. mine is updated. Yeah, I had 40 gig. 
I'm kind of I'm 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 <laughs> skittish about space and whatnot. So what I wanted to do is uh, update mine to uh, 750, if I could. I mean, yeah. just personal preference. That's all. What but, do you uh, have? And you, 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 well, you did it years ago, so it's just a 5400, 5400, 500 gig hard drive. Yeah. But if I, but if I, and I'm assuming if you make the well, no, it's only 500 gigs. So well, I'd well try to try to put a 750 in there if I could, or a terabit if they get small enough. No, I don't think anyone has uh, tried that yet. So, well, there's there's people trying it out. I think a lot of people are waiting for some benchmarks on speed and stuff like that. And I'm mm-hmm. I'm one of those people waiting on benchmarks for for solid state drives. There is a specific mm-hmm. NeoGAF thread if you're interested that is uh, doing its best to benchmark uh, drives of different uh, types: uh, solid state, uh, traditional platter, uh, solid state hybrid drives, all of these different things of different sizes. Uh, different connectivity and throughput, and they're trying to really benchmark based on uh, purely based on install times, uh, what loads look like drive to drive for mm-hmm. all the different PS4s. So I would mm-hmm. imagine another week or so, once the majority of people have actually gotten their their PlayStations in, because I know there have been some issues with delivery from places like Amazon for some people yeah, in some regions. We'll talk about that. Um, and for people to be able to get the drives they're looking at, you should. I would say in about a week's time, be able to have some good numbers about what the best thing is that you can get for the money. Mm. All in all, though, as a baseline, I know it isn't a lot, but as a baseline, 500 gigabytes, 400 accessible, is a much better starting point. It's better than any starting point they've given us as far as launch lineup you know, yes. type situations. And I believe, what is the Xbox One? Is it also 500 gigs? I think so. I think it is. Um, the, as to your second question on that was the update. Did we do it through PSN or a thumb drive? We did it, uh, I'd say we, James was over there when we were doing this yesterday. Um, it was yesterday. Yeah, that was Friday. Okay. Uh, we did use the thumb drive. I had, I'd gone ahead and downloaded the update on a thumb drive a couple of days or whatever, the day before, something like that. And I didn't really didn't, I did it because I didn't want to want to mess with PSN, figured everybody that that thing was just getting hammered, um, to do it. And so... That was very simple, very easy to do. You get the system plugged in, put your thumb drive into the front-loading USB port there, hold down the power button for two beeps. It will beep once as soon as you press the power button. As you continue to hold, you will hear it beep again. Release, and it'll load into safe mode. From there, it'll say uh, update firmware. You click that, it'll check the USB port, it'll go through all of it, and once it's done, it'll restart itself, and boom, you've updated so very simple, easy process. At least for me, I've heard you know we you've heard plenty of horror, horror stories stories on this thing. What is he doing? I'm having to look here. Uh, okay, why don't you explain what you're doing? <laughs> uh, well, in general, I'm just sort of horsing around with the PS4 right but now. As how we are you? It, how but, are you typing? Uh, because you were that well. Was, this answer this answers another question that we had. Uh, for Matt, he up says... Up chat a little any, bit. It's any, any, any thoughts input on getting the about camera? picking up the camera. The camera's another $60. Uh, you know, should point out, given our tax rate in the city where we picked it up, system plus camera plus tax was uh, essentially dead even $500. Yep. Um, and there are some discussions to be had there. Uh, the more, I'm sure, come next week. Uh, well, it gives so you an far, idea of what the price would have been had they packed in a camera. Had they to packed their it system. in, it probably would have been uh, level on the level with the Xbox One. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, having said that, uh, it's actually a really, really lovely camera. It's got really, really nice pickup. It's got uh, appears to have a really, really good polling rate. Uh, it comes with a flexible mount, a really, really excellent little uh, triple hinged, rubberized, flexible mount. That allows you to fit it, you know, to the contour of the top of your television or fold it under and make a stand out of it. It's actually really, really configurable. Mm-hmm. Works really, really nice. Um, it's also got the microphones on it. And we'll show some of that in a little bit. But the system is really good at, at recognizing some of the rudimentary uh, voice commands that they have entered into it. Weird. And one of the things that it can do is when you need to do text entry, when the when the text entry box pops up, it will actually use, uh, you know, the so far often seen but not so well understood light bar with the camera and allow you to do motion tracking to select each of the individual numbers. So you don't have to use the D-pad or anything like that. So that's what I was doing previously. So now you can see the web interface that they have for... uh 
for the PS4. I, again, I do not know what he's doing. <laughs> he's going to Twitch. Well, uh, as it is, we should point out that uh, the PlayStation 4 has integrated uh, Twitch streaming and Twitch viewing, uh, both uploading and, and viewing. But oh. as, <laughs> as the basic stuff is set up currently, it, it only uh, will let you view PS4 streams. So I was going to go. I was going to use the web browser to um, see how easily I could go to Twitch and and say, "Look at our show." While Scott continues talking. Yeah, exactly. Um, in fact, and he may have just said that I was zoned out watching the Xbox commercial on the uh, or whatever that is that they're doing the Xbox One Doritos and Mountain Dew up there. Um, what I was going to say is the uh, the other benefit of having the camera is the way that if you do plan to broadcast yourself and use the Twitch application that, that comes with the PS4. Uh, the camera is really nice in that it picks up audio with you talking to it, picks it up very well, and uh, it also has a has the layout that it has. Uh, will use the camera if you have one to broadcast yourself playing the game while the game is being broadcast. It does kind mm-hmm. of the split version kind of, of that. Screen to screen? Uh, in a yeah. sense, yeah. yes. And so, okay. and I don't know what... It, did it work? I I've somehow messed myself up entirely. Okay. And I've I've switched back somehow. To, uh, never mind. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm victorious. So now you can see that he is using the uh, controller to move the cursor around. Um, he's not using the sticks. He's just using the motion of the controller to. Uh, oh, there you go. Well, the predictive work? is pretty good. And yes. Well, well, I typed yes when I was when I was logging us into the various things that we have to be logged into, Facebook, Twitter, uh, things like that. So uh, we got another question. Let's see. Navid says thoughts on hardware itself, the build quality and the noise. So far, we haven't gotten the noise is fine. It's silent. We haven't had any noise whatsoever. We also have not put a disc. But we in, haven't so put a disc in. Let's point we haven't. That out. We haven't played anything very demanding. We played Resogun again for probably an hour and a half or yeah. so. Played it for a while, and the system itself didn't make any significant amount of noise. The build quality seems really good. We didn't have any issues. There are some peculiarities with oh, it. I don't God. mind pointing out. <laughs> yes, there we go. We have achieved Twitchception. <laughs> Wow, it's just going to keep going. <laughs> okay, anyway. Mm. So, that's interesting. Um, yeah, somebody else was asking, uh, let's see. But the build quality overall seems really, really good. I would say there are some, there are some peculiarities to how the system works. Uh, and I, I don't think it's anything to do with the actual build, but the, the way that the system has decided it's going to handle... Things like friends lists and and network connectivity. There seemed to be some very strange issues with going into standby mode and then recovering from standby mode, but losing the network connection earlier. Did the system feel hot after playing it? No, we, no, it didn't. We haven't done again. We should stress we have not done anything with this machine really. Uh, we are still waiting to be able to have a disc to put in it. Yeah, we have not put a disc in. I have not downloaded any of the major titles for this, only PSN titles. I will point out uh, for anybody that's heard that it is kind of uh, wobbly and tippy. That's that's not entirely fair. It's it's a tripod. Yeah, it's got uh, it's got two feet down the center line, which is exactly where the uh, the little glowing line is, uh, about a third of the way in on the system, and then it's got a third foot on the far end. Why they didn't put a fourth foot? Uh, on the overhanging third, I, I honestly don't know. But it isn't inherently tippy. It's only tippy if you press on it and, you know, give it a decent shot. Very, so. um, it, it's, you know, I say this after removing an original 60 gig PS3 fat machine out of there. Uh, it's a very light system. I believe it's only about a pound or so heavier than the current model Slim. Yeah. But whenever I had, um, Whenever I had the other machine in my hand, goodness, it was, it was huge, and it, the USB ports. It's only got two. Uh, somebody asked. Yes, Calgar it's a little said, bit poor, and they're, and they're only on the front. It, yeah. it actually has a very a bare minimum of ports. It's got two very. USBs on the front. It's got uh, optical the, audio on the out. It's got on the back optical out. Uh, it has HDMI and an aux port for the camera. HDMI aux port for the camera and the power. And the power, that's it, yeah. And I believe that's all it has. So, 
Um, that is that that is it for you. Not very many ports for it. So I mean, I don't know exactly. Is the camera plugged in by USB? No, the camera is the aux port. The camera uh, is not USB. Sadly, because this would be great to have for. Anybody, it really, really would. I'm actually you know. a little bit sad. I. I don't know what the aux port is. It's a proprietary connector. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't necessarily know. I don't know what the pinout is. I have no idea. I can't imagine there's any reason it cannot be connected to a PC eventually. Oh, we received a name request from... Uh, oh, a name request is one of the interesting options that you that's, have. Yeah, and we'll go over those in just a bit. we got to take our, our first break uh, of the show, and then uh, when we come back, we'll play more with the PlayStation and um, tell you more about it. And, oh, God, there goes the inception of the name request. It's just going to continue <laughs> to feed. So, anyway, we'll get it off that channel, and we'll, we'll play more. We'll have games up there running, or at least a couple of a game or two up there running, and uh, get some questions from you guys in the chat room and talk more about the uh, PlayStation 4. We'll be right back with more of in-game chat coming up. <laughs> And welcome back to in-game chat, broadcasting the PlayStation Four. We are on the uh, on the home screen right now, uh, looking at the the dashboard, as it were, for the the PS Four. And uh, we're basically just talking all things about the PS Four. You guys in the chat room have been asking us questions, which is great, uh, perfect for what we're doing here. Is just you know ask the questions. We'll show you what it can do when you when you. Uh, with any kind of questions related to something that we can show you. Otherwise, we'll talk about what we've experienced so far. So, And we do have plans to actually stream games directly through PSN to the Twitch channel. I don't know if any of you have seen what Sony has put together for their in-Twitch um, streaming setup. Particularly if you have the camera, it's rather slick. Mm-hmm. It's really, really good. It is. Uh, you you know, can my, take it. Where's the control? My original worry was that all you would really have is direct feed gameplay from the game and nothing else. But what they've provided you is actually uh, like a rudimentary layout that you could expect from XSplit or or OBS. It's not terribly configurable, but it does give you an embed of the gameplay screen if you have the PlayStation camera and microphone, the, the PSI or whatever we're calling it. Is it the P- it's PlayStation camera, right? Is that its name now? Yeah, I think that's what they're calling it. Whatever the they thing drop is. the eye thing. If you have that, then you can you can see the uh, you know a streamer picture, and you can hear their audio as well, overlaid with the game. And they have uh, near the bottom of the window, you can see the the channel chat if you wanted to go full screen, which is you know something that not all streamers configure for themselves. So mm-hmm. uh, really, actually, quite good. Yeah, there we go. That is uh, a good off-camera example of what you can expect to see through direct Twitch streaming on the PS4. It's actually be interesting to know if you can plug good. in a USB camera to the front port and have that act as the camera for at least the Twitch thing. I know you can't do some of the other interactive sort of things. Um, somebody right. see somebody had asked if the camera was tracking if it was the motion controls or the camera tracking the cursor movement and uh, it's the camera that tracks that cursor movement. Yes it is. Yes. For that. You cannot do that without the camera um, Without the camera present, I guess. I, yeah, he's playing AC4, so that's what it'll look like if you've got a camera uh, hooked up to it. And again, that's your decision to make um, if you're going to go that way with it or not. So, and then uh, why don't you show them the voice controls with the camera? Again, you yeah, have let's to see have if we can, let's see if we can get it to operate. But uh, there are some rudimentary controls that the that the PlayStation camera seems to be able to respond to, and it's not ter- It's not bad actually. I mean, particularly as something that they didn't bother to sell with the system. Uh, terribly, but you you can usually navigate pretty well if there's not much background noise. Yeah. PlayStation. We try. Here we go. Live demo. Yeah, right. Live demo. Nothing ever works. PlayStation. Dude, PlayStation. <laughs> I wonder if it actually doesn't work inside of the Twitch. Anymore. I'm curious. Yeah. Let's ba- let me back out of that. PlayStation. Yeah. It's uh, obviously that's interesting. Want to try it one more time? Not really, because I think it's starting to sound stupid. It's going to sound stupid? I'll do it one more. 
PlayStation. Home screen. There you go. You don't necessarily have to yell that loud, but I wasn't sure how this was going. But We're course, not sitting very close to it. We're sitting kind of far across the studio from it, and we're also not sitting directly uh, in front of it. Yeah, so I'm sure this was great radio for anybody <laughs> listening yeah, <right>. to that. <laughs> it was working actually pretty flawlessly earlier in the evening. Yeah, a lot of the times. And in fact, I believe the left trigger will act. Yeah, I believe the, um, and me talking is probably going to kill it, but if you activate the left, if you hit the le- left trigger, uh, it'll bring up voice command. So then you can say. Shut up. I'm shutting up. Go ahead. It just doesn't like you. Anyway. It liked but yeah, me plenty earlier. I know it did. I did. So anyway, you can uh, you can use those. We're not saying that they're not working because they were working actually fine earlier. We were we had no problem. It, they were it, actually so. working when we were both yelling. Uh, you, I, what, what happened? Uh, we, we were trying to get it to just do various things. You said power. PlayStation! <laughs> and that still That's didn't so work. Fun! <laughs> you said power, I said flower. And yeah. it listened to me. Launched flower. It did, and it went to flower. So, <laughs> uh, But yeah, it's got some, some voice commands. We'll, we'll stop doing that. <laughs> but this is what you look like whenever, or what you sound like, whenever you're talking to your electronics now. So... Uh, one of the other things is uh, the controller. Um, I know somebody asked about the, the jack on the controller uh, in the chat room. Three and a half? Oh, the audio jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. the audio jack. I'm sorry. Well, I can tell you the charge, the, the charging jack on the uh, PlayStation 4 controller is now uh, not going to work with your PS3 charger or any other kind of, what is it, mini USB? It went to micro USB? Yeah, it went from mini USB to micro USB. Mm. So if you have something like a Kindle or a, or, or a uh, what is the other one Nook or something like that, those use micro USBs and and that'll fit in there. But uh, they 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 got rid of which I don't know whatever that's th- their choice to do it. And then the uh, the audio jack on it will accept any three and a half uh, three and a half millimeter uh, audio jack, I believe. So you can use your. Or you can use your headphones. Some of the headphones we have. I here. used my uh, I used my ear pods on mm-hmm. it last night. Plugged directly into it, and it worked just fine. And it is specifically designed. If you look at the pack in, uh, single earpiece, uh, little headset solution that they offered, uh, it it's specifically designed to do both mic and stereo audio on the three and a half millimeter. Uh, Moltal says that was a presentation of why I do not like voice commands. Well, that's exactly what you can expect when you try to do something live. Yeah, exactly. I, I would put that more towards uh, being live because, again, we did this earlier and it was it was running fine. So, Now, as far as the uh, light bar on the controller, we didn't even notice it. No, you it don't. It didn't come up at all. It wasn't noticeable in the screen of the television. Didn't I can't imagine it being a problem at all. Maybe with a... With a glossy style television uh, and a very dark room, mm-hmm. I can see that being a possibility. Mm-hmm. But we didn't put ourselves in a situation where we would notice it. So there all. wasn't even a hint of reflection from that thing on the screen at all. Uh, not the way we were playing. No. Yeah, the okay. only time it shows up for for us is when you play the camera game or the, the when you go to the playroom. Okay. Um, because it will because because the camera the the PlayStation camera actually projects an image. Right. See, now you can see our setup. You can see inside the studio there and, and how we've got everything uh, working. And there is the camera. It is. That's right. funny. This has been running all this time in the background. Yeah, mm-hmm. it has. Yep. By the way, quick uh, quick jump between applications. Just press the PS button. You don't have to press and hold, but you can just press it. Now he's, he's going to play with the little robots. Oh, he threw one to the screen. You get an achievement for doing that, by the way, or a trophy. Uh, now he's sucking them up. Is that audio coming? The audio, that audio is coming through the controller, as you can obviously see on the screen. <laughs> this is kind of strange to do. But the controller itself has, uh, has a speaker on it. Um, and so audio from inside the controller. There you go. Little robots are inside the controller. But yeah, the controller will talk to you. Uh, certain games make use of it. Resogun is one of those where the audio in the game will be playing in the background. And then some of the instructions that you need will come out of the controller. It's kind of one of the weirdest things we've experienced so far while we've been uh, playing with the PS4 is the fact that audio now comes out of the controller. It's very strange. So 
while he plays with his robots. And, and it's uh, it's worth pointing out. I'm sorry, I was busy with my robots. I didn't know, but uh, we actually had it. Sorry, guys. We actually <laughs> had it set up so that the entire audio stream from the console could come through those headset through mm-hmm. your headset as well. Yeah, you can go into your audio settings and have everything, and it'll mute. You know, you anybody in the room with you will not be able to hear what's going on because it'll come straight in through the headphones that are plugged into your controller. This. Um, we haven't really done any extensive testing on it, but it is kind of a power drain on the mm. controller itself. It's putting out the light bar, then it's putting all driving driving all audio um, into your uh, headphone jack through the controller. So mm. it can. The uh, controllers that we've read about uh, have a power of eight hours, mm-hmm. and that is it. It's not much in comparison to the previous the ps3 controller if you're familiar with the ps3 controller that thing you would be gone for a month and come back and oh still got a charge you still got, you still got juice in it yeah now you're seeing some of this rj you're a sony fan or at least mm-hmm. a playstation guy mm-hmm. um what do you think so far of what you've seen well, i like what i've seen so far but then in the bot but in the bottom end, line is games for you i know it's games it's going to be games in the end and then you talked about and earlier, this isn't yeah. something that's appealing to you huh it's all right it's a nice distraction i guess <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it is, isn't it, James? Yeah. It's a nice distraction. But uh, I mentioned I was you were mentioning something earlier about your uh, your save files from uh, your PS3 games, and if yeah. it wasn't transferable or whatnot, I mean, do you really have the desire to go through it again on the PS4 to get that to get your uh, data and information back? No, no. So I didn't. When I was playing Flower, I played like the first level yeah. because I had heard that the motion controls were much better mm-hmm. with the PS4, mm-hmm. um, and they are. They're a little bit better, responsive, more responsive uh, in that case. But uh, once I did the first level, you know, I didn't really have a desire to say, "Okay, let's continue to play this." It was like, yeah. "Okay, I, I remember you, this. You and had it's this nice." Before. There is there yeah. there. From what I can tell, there's no and Flower is not a demanding game graphically or anything like that. So right. I didn't right. see any kind of improvement there. Um, but I mean. Here I am sitting with a brand new console, and I have very limited... I have three games to play. Mm-hmm. And four, I'm sorry. Resogun, Contrast, this thing he's doing, mm-hmm. and uh, Flower. That's it. Now, I've got the free-to-play games, but I haven't downloaded any of those if I want to get in on that. Right. Um, and uh, the rest of the games, again, going back to launch titles, is... You know, it's just not there for me as far as what I want to play right now. It's yeah. coming. Mm-hmm. It's coming. Yeah, we got uh, infamous eventually. Second Son on the way uh, mm-hmm. in March, and then of course you got Metal Gear Solid Five, or yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five, mm-hmm. um, which is multi-platform. But uh, what was the other thing? Oh, Destiny. We've got Destiny, beta. and uh, PlayStation Four is going to be the first to have access to the beta. Yeah, um, Destiny. They pointed that out on the during the launch event. Yeah, and on, of course on Thursday night. I, I would. Yes, I would. I would say, um, and personally, I, I have one. It's in a box. It's in a closet. I have not decided whether to open it or you're not. Still, you're still on that fence. I'm huh? still on the fence because as long as I haven't and haven't opened it, my options are uh, well, they're not unlimited, but I have options. Um, I would like to point out that right now, like right this moment, it looks like there's nothing, but but really not that far into the future. It looks like there's you're going to be able to start feeding things that are worthwhile to your PlayStation and to your Xbox. Uh, just a matter of months. Mm-hmm. So, given the various possibilities, uh, I don't really know what my suggestion would be. But if you've got a handle on one right now, yeah, it's a little it's a little dour. The re- the launch lineup doesn't look particularly good. But it's not that far off to Infamous. It's not that far off to Destiny. It's not that far off to the second quarter of next year, the the, the calendar quarter. And I really think once it gets started, once it ramps up, once the rest of those free-to-play games show up for the for the PlayStation side of things, um, you'll be able to find the value you were looking for at launch day. And, mm-hmm. it, it, and in the short term, there is an awful lot to do and an awful lot to play with. And I think in a matter of probably just days, they'll have most of the kinks ironed out. Interesting question from Calgar is, are there many or any demos? Uh, none. I didn't see the option to download a demo for Contrast or Resogun, but then again, I had PS Plus. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I went to the screen to buy it or the purchase screen, it already says, well, this is free. It's free. You can go ahead and download this. I did not. Mm -hmm. So I didn't look for a demo. I didn't see that. But on any of the games. Now, this is interesting, and he can probably take Mm -hmm. you there if you want to go to the PlayStation Network um, and see all the games that you can purchase. It's one of the few times. Everything is digital day and date. Mm -hmm. So, nope, he's going to play with his robots. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I can the fun part about this 
Yeah, he's going to get his scan. I could I could completely interrupt his game and say PlayStation and then uh, go to the home screen, but I'll just let him play with his robot. You can see the interaction. He really enjoys this, but yet he won't open up his system and play it on his own. Mm -hmm. uh, not when he's got... There you go. He's going to try and anger it so that it'll attack him. Um, it actually was kind of difficult to do there for a little bit, but there we got goes. it. We got it. He's going to... Set me on fire. Set you on fire. And boom, now you're on fire. All right. It'll freeze his head. It'll electrocute him and stuff like that. So, and uh, he's just having a ball doing that. <laughs> Luckily, you can see him on screen doing this, so you see what we see in here. Pretty right. much him making a fool of himself. Mm -hmm. But he's enjoying doing that. So there you go. I think tickle is horrible. <laughs> Uh, any more questions from the chat room? What do we have? Thoughts on the controller itself? I know you guys preferred or mostly used the 360 controller during this gen. How has the how has the move to this been for you? Well, we talked about the controller a couple of weeks ago on the show, and mm -hmm. we we really enjoy the PS4 controller. I mean, it's 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 a it's a step up on the PS3 controller mm -hmm. itself. Is it at the uh, is it at the 360 type controllers? Uh, I'm still not up for playing this on my PC. Mm. I'm still I'm still I'm still okay with having my wired Xbox 360 controller plugged in. It still it does what it needs to do. I don't have to do any configuration on it. I know there's some things that you have to tweak on the PC side, and maybe some downloads you have to make in order to get a DualShock 4 to work on the PC. But the fact that you have something you can just plug in and start going with is uh just kind of that makes my decision for me. Mm -hmm. um, rather than have to uh, tinker with it and mess around with it and fool with it. Go to the PlayStation Store and uh, go up. There you go. Go over the other way. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and then go to Games, and you'll see uh, the, all the titles. Every title that you can pick up in the store is available. Scroll down to, there you go, Games. Scroll down again and go to Day One. Oh, go to Day One Digital. There you go. Everything is there for you to buy straight from the store. You do not have to go to the store and buy these games. You can do that now. Amazon has a store for the PlayStation Network now. You can buy the download code from Amazon, input mm -hmm. it into your uh, input it into your PS4 and download it from there. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's inter interesting to see if Microsoft is going to adopt these same policies or these same uh, uh, ways to do that. As far as Amazon's concerned, they're already doing the same thing with their day one digital. Right. They had already been planning that from the start before the DRM issue reversals and everything else had come about. So, going to Drive Club. See, uh, check and see if you see any demos. I didn't, but we had a question about some demos, and I don't think there are any. Scroll down and see if there. See, normally you would have like a thing over there that says demos yeah, in the so, category. Yeah, it had its own category. It uh, had its own PS3. category for yeah. demos, and uh, as far as we can tell, there's nothing there for you. So, mm. and that's what we've got. Anyway, so I've still got my uh, system. This is my system. James has his. He has not decided yet if he's going to uh, keep it or what he's going to do. Although I have dibs. Um, if he's deciding <laughs> not to keep it, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I've got dibs on it. Uh, not because I want a, a second one to, to flip, but uh, I, again, frequently stay at the house and then not stay at the house, and I want to have one at the other place. So um, that's, what I would be, uh, that's what I would be using his for. And uh, complete with the camera as well. I do, I do kind of like the camera. Um, I like what it's going to provide me as far as doing the streaming. It's still awfully, yeah, that's very, very good. It's yeah. awfully questionable about whether or not it's going to be used uh, or integrated into certain games because it isn't a pack-in. It isn't a guaranteed piece of hardware that the, any developer can expect to find on the shelf of a gamer he's targeting his game to. So it's probably going to be limited in terms of the cute stuff it does like what we've shown here. But the ability to directly use it for streams, for communications, that's that's awful nice. And it works really, really well for that. Uh, Matt asks, how's the uh, touchscreen function? Uh, so far, it seems perfectly fine it's neither oversensitive nor undersensitive i think sometimes in the vertical uh it's maybe a little too oversensitive because the i'm not sure i don't remember what the resolution is on the touchpad but uh it looks like it's about two to one i think that's what we learned mm -hmm. uh so it's a little narrow 
in the vertical. And I actually have seen some videos of people having a little bit of trouble with the, uh, what is that game in the playroom? The little kind of uh, uh, Pong style. Air hockey? Or the thing back and forth, yeah, the it's, little it's, the little back and forth warped table. Yeah, it's a it's it's Pong controller style. hockey type situation uh, is is what I believe it is. But yeah, um, Meryl Gear says I know you can't stream directly to the console, but can you have streaming music sites going in the internet browser while playing games? That's a good question. While playing games, know. no, because once you exit the oh, it kills all the audio from the browser. Once you exit that application, it no longer it's not running it in the background per se. It's sort of paused in the background um, until you resume it. But so, th- as far as I know, I haven't tested it, but it's the best way I can tell you that it probably will not work that way. Um, you probably can stream music sites. You can probably go to Pandora or from um, what's the other one, Last FM, and what are, any of those. You'd probably go to those and actually have it run through the browser. Um, on your PS4, even though they wouldn't have apps for that on the PS4 because they have Sony's mu- music streaming service on there, right. so there's no way they're going to have those apps on there that I can, that I'm pretty sure uh, will be the case. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Noobsauce says, "Is this a stream from the PS4?" No, it is not. It's uh, it's a camera shot towards the TV screen while we play uh, the PS4. Could I watch this live from my own PS4? Uh, As best we can tell, if you went through the browser method, yes. But if you went through their Twitch app on the PS4, you could not do that because we are not directly streaming from the PS4. And that's the only stuff that lists when you go to the Twitch app um, through the PS4 itself. We're just taking questions from the chat room here. This is kind of nice. Scott, did you connect your Vita to the PS4? Uh, I sure did. I connected it, and I did remote play. Well, I didn't do remote play. I did the one where you operate the machine from your Vita screen. Hmm. Um, it was able to do that. It just streamed an image of the uh, the the home the dashboard there, and I could manipulate it all. I could go through. I could I could use it. You know, it was completely functional. Um, there were some things that you couldn't do because it says, "Hey, you're using this through the Vita. You can't do that. Like change some settings and stuff like that." It needed it needed to be operated. Um, outside of using the Vita uh, in order to do that. I have not experienced second screen on it just yet. So, and I did not bring it with us, uh, bring it with me here tonight either. The PlayStation app that you can download on your iOS device or your Android device has some limited interaction. Um, You can use that as a second screen situation for, let's say a game will allow you to to put the map on one of your other devices. Mm -hmm. You can use it for that sort of situation. Um, for that's what the app can uh, come in handy with. So, um, and that's exactly what Noob Sauce was asking. Uh, Calgar says, "Do YouTube or Flash sites work?" He uh, looks like they do. Have you played a video through there? Haven't been watching. Will a video not play, or have you tried? He's trying it now, and it will not play, as you can see. Uh, it will it's not play a, through. It's a plug-in, right? Or something like that. Yeah. So it can do that. So there you go. You ask the questions. We will find them out live for you mm-hmm. uh, while we're working on this thing. Has anyone had uh, blank screens on Warframe? Uh, we haven't uh, played that yet. Odd question, but has anyone tried out Skullgirls on the free weekend on Steam? That's not even a PS4 question. I should really screen these before I get to them. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're going to take a break, and then when we come back, we'll have the second hour of in-game chat and more with the PS4. Uh, we'll talk about the launch, um, the midnight launch that James and I went to to get our systems. And uh, we've got some interviews that we took while we were out there, and we'll uh, listen to those um, coming up in the second hour of in-game chat. We'll have a lot more coming up next. We'll be right back. Welcome back to in-game chat. Uh, Meryl Goat said, oh, cool, so radio sites work in-game. Now, I don't know if that's from that link uh, to Destructoid that Nathan posted. 
or if you thought that we were playing the game and it still had audio in the background of it, um, just so you're aware, uh, the audio from uh, what you're hearing, what you heard was the radio station that we broadcast from. That was not coming in through the PS4. That was coming in through uh, the way we've got audio going through um, through our Twitch uh, stream. So. Uh, I could have turned up the volume very loud on what we've got over there, and you'd hear that it's coming out of the TV. So that was not the case um, as to what was going on there. James was playing Flower during the break there, um, trying out the motion controls and just having something going on in the background while you were uh, sitting around waiting for us to come back. So anyway, uh, for the launch Thursday, um, I got off at uh, – I, I went straight there at about 3.30 or so and talked with the manager there to say, hey, how is this all going to work? Do I need to be here at 6, and then when do I need to be back after I pay off my, my system? And uh, can I also do some interviews while I'm up here? And they said, sure, you know, do all that stuff. So I paid it off. 6 o'clock comes. I get up there. Uh, I am number two to pay mine off. Um, and I get a little – they put a little sticker on your receipt that says number two. And uh, a walk-in, by the way, was number one. A walk-in picking up one of the extras was number one. And so uh, we go back up there at about – I got up there at about 11 o'clock and uh, waited around. And then they called uh, about five minutes till midnight. They started calling people around by the number. Are you number one? Get up here in line. And they lined us up at the back of the, like, stock door, I guess that is. What is yeah, that? they didn't actually have the consoles available out on the floor. They didn't bring them from the back room. They kept them in the back room and distributed them from there. Hmm. Yeah, and I, how many people do you think were there for us? Three dozen, maybe ours? four dozen. Yeah? Yeah. Something like yeah, I guess the line did go pretty good ways back, and there were some people coming up as uh, as they were you know handing these out to people who were uh, picking up their system uh, for the midnight launch, and then uh, that was pretty much it. I went home and I just put mine down, and then I went straight to bed. I did not open it, didn't do anything with it. You were the same way, although yeah. there was still more talk of like, how am I not going to open this? Yeah, I've got a I've got a you know a basically five hundred dollars system sitting here. How am I not? Um, going to open this. But anyway, got a chance to talk to uh, talk with some of the people who were waiting uh, in line to pick up their PS4 uh, at the local store, and um, we asked them a couple of questions. So here you go. You pre-ordered the PS4. When did you pre-order it? Uh, back in June. And are you getting an Xbox One? I am not. You're n why? I prefer the PS4. I'm a Sony fanboy. So you you have a PS3. Do you have a 360? I do not. What games are you uh, picking up with it? Killzone, uh, Rivals, and Ghost. <laughs> All right, so you're picking it up tonight. Are you also getting an Xbox One? Yes, definitely. At launch or later on? Most likely launch. What games are you picking up tonight? We've already picked up Killzone, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty, Ghosts, and a whole bunch of other games. Do you own any of the previous systems? Uh, yes. PS3 and, yeah, Xbox 360. So, strictly console, do you do any PC gaming? Time and time again, but when I do, I usually do Audio Surf and Portal 2 on my uh, Steam account. What's the first game that you're going to be playing tonight? I'm not going to be playing any games tonight, but tomorrow with one of my friends, we're going to. I'm most likely going to play Call of Duty Ghost of Battlefield 4 with him. Now, out of the games that are coming out for both systems, the Xbox One and the PS4, and not the games that are coming out at launch, but the games that you know that are coming out later, what are you most excited for? Destiny. <laughs> what are you most uh, interested in playing tonight? I'm interested in playing uh, Battlefield 4 and um, uh, Madden 25, especially to see how they compare with the older legacy systems. Now, are you also getting an Xbox One? Uh, my son doesn't know, but yes, we're getting an Xbox One next week as well. So you're getting both systems. Do you own uh, the previous systems? Yes, we own a uh, PS3 and a uh, Xbox 360 as well. Do you do any PC gaming at all? Uh, very minor, not a whole lot of that. The games that you know that are coming out, not the ones that are released right now, but the games that you know that are coming out, what are you most excited for? Watch Dogs. That one looks really interesting. I, I like the way the graphics look already. Um, it'll be interesting because they, they rolled it back. They, they pushed it back a bit. So hopefully that means they're going to have a little smoother uh, rollout than they would if, if they had rushed the uh, product. When did you pre-order the system? Uh, about two months ago. And you still got in for, for the first round of uh, pre-orders then, huh? Yes, I did. All right, what are you getting any games tonight with it? Yes, uh, I'm getting um, Madden 25 and Battlefield 4. And which one of those are you going to be playing first? Battlefield 4. Now, are you also getting an Xbox One? Negative. I'm strictly PlayStation all the way. So looking ahead to the games that are going to be released later on, you know games that are coming out for the PlayStation 4 later on. What are you most looking forward to in the future? 
Destiny. That's going to be the, the top hit, I think. That's going to be one of the, the best games on the system. From what I've seen online, the, uh, the actual gameplay is something that's going to be totally next generation. So that's, that's one I'm waiting on so far. When did you pre-order your system? I pre-ordered it sometime in June. And are you getting any games with it tonight? I have Ghost already, Battlefield already, and I just picked up Killzone. What are you going to be playing first? Killzone. Are you also picking up an Xbox One? Maybe in about a year or so. Why is that? Insufficient funds. Did it work out for you best because PS4 is releasing first, or because it was a lower price? No, because mainly because I've been playing uh, Sony for about 12 years. I started out with the PS2. I've never really been into the Xbox, but my favorite game on the Xbox would have to be Fable. So you're basically going with, like, system loyalty on this, really? And exclusives, yes. What are the exclusives you're looking forward to? Uh, well, I've always enjoyed Killzone, Uncharted. I've also been a loyal Metal Gear Solid fan. What are you most excited or looking forward to? The reboot of Diablo 3 for the PS4 and Metal Gear Solid 5. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. So that was some of the uh, comments we got from people waiting in line. Again, uh, there weren't that many um, outside waiting uh, in line. They they let everybody wait in store. Um, normally, uh, I was expecting everybody to be in a line outside the store and then being brought in. That was the last time I really experienced anyone any kind of these uh, midnight launch things. So, but they let him in the store, and we weren't allowed to interview in the store, which is fine, completely understandable. And there were a lot of people who just didn't want to talk to a stranger with a microphone. So <laughs> there's that kind of stigma that you have going with it. While that was running, what did we have on screen? Resogun. Uh, this is a launch title for the PlayStation 4. It is a PlayStation 4 exclusive, and it is only on PSN that you can get it. And if you're a PS Plus member, again, th something you should say, whenever you buy a PS4, you will get 30 days free of, the, uh, of PS Plus. Um, which is nice because you can go ahead and sign up for that. You also get thirty days free of their music service. Is that right? I think it's thirty days free, and you get and ten. You get ten dollars for the P ten dollars credit for the PSN store. Yeah. So I mean, even if you don't want the plus membership, you get ten dollars credit. This is ten bucks. Resogun is ten dollars, and you can go ahead and have a game right from the beginning. Not to mention all the free to play titles that you've got. Because oh, the free to play titles, I do not know. Are they are they tied into? They are tied. They're tied in. I believe to having an account to play with. Right? You know what? I'm not going to go on the record for that because I don't think they are. I believe that was something very specific following the announcement that you would have to buy into PS Plus in order to play multiplayer online, but that that was not the case yeah. for the free-to-play games. Matt says, if you already have a PS Plus, do you get an extra month free? Uh, no. No, you don't. It does not stack. Um, you can hang on to it, and if, you're, uh, if your membership laps lapses then you can use that and get that month but it does not stack so you're gonna see a lot of people uh saying hey do you want a month free of uh, ps plus if they already own it they'll just hand it to a friend of theirs or something like that so they could uh they could try it out can the music service play in the background not sure actually i believe that was the whole point of the music service was correct? that it could play in the background yes I, th I thought that was the point is that you couldn't have custom soundtracks but you could have the music service running uh, Nathan says, I thought it was free with PS Plus Resogun. Yes, it is. P Resogun is free with PS Plus. If you are not a PS Plus member, like I said, uh, there's a voucher inside the system box uh, that uh, gives you 30 days of PS Plus free. So, uh, no, PS Plus needed, no PS Plus needed for any of the current announced free-to-play games, but it's up to the publisher as to whether they want to do that or not. Uh, thank you, Navid. Um, so there you go. Uh, James is currently playing uh, Resogun. He is picking out a difficulty. Um, are you getting any audio from the controller yet when you were playing? Do we have that turned off? Hmm. It was just playing in demo mode previously. Oh, so there oh, wasn't oh, anything oh. coming through the controller. I see. Understandable. This is kind of a shmup game. Um, and in the audio settings you see here, you can actually set. Yeah. the. Uh, uh, one of the things we noticed is that uh, on the speaker, on the output speaker, on the controller... The uh, the Overwatch voice, the UI uh, computer voice that will occasionally uh, alert you to specific things on the game board uh, will play through your speakers, but can also play through the controller as well. Yes. It's a strange thing having audio come from it's your controller. It's really, really weird. And if you so choose, you can have the entirety of the system audio 
uh, come through your headphones. Uh, Noobsaw says uh, audio logs play through the controller um, in Killzone. When you pick up an audio log, it plays through the controller. <laughs> if you can great. imagine something like Bioshock, whenever you would pick oh, sure, up the yeah. audio logs, um, it'll play through uh, through the controller. Um, it, it is a it's a very um, it's a very interesting function. Something else I noticed that um, Matt had asked if I was getting Need for Speed Rivals. That's the only one that I'm thinking of actually spending money on and buying. Mm-hmm. Um, Partly because I'm not going to get it from there, but it seems like it's a it seems like it's a good bet. That's a game I'll enjoy. Um, so I actually might just to test this out. I actually might go and buy it through the digital store when we get when I get home tonight. Go through there, buy it, let it download and play it, um, and go that route with it. Interesting thing with that. I was watching someone stream it, and I could be completely wrong. Maybe he was just making all this up. The thing is, I haven't seen reviews on this game yet. Uh, it's an interesting thing that the. The game is available right now for PS4, but it doesn't really it doesn't release on PC, Xbox 360, PS3, or Xbox One until the 19th, until Tuesday. Hmm. So it's an interesting reversal in that it's a current gen, it, it's got current gen versions of it. His controller's talking. It's got current gen versions of the game, uh, but those did not release previous. Those are releasing after the uh, the PS4 version of that game. Hmm. And one of the things this guy was doing as he was streaming it was. He was playing as the police, and he was giving out voice commands, saying, you know, possible suspect heading west on whatever. And the game apparently understood some of the, some of the commands he was giving and would issue assistance okay. to his location. Mm-hmm. Um, and I could, be, I could be wrong on that. I'm not exactly sure. He could have been just pulling the entire Internet's leg while he was doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, but he was giving very specific instructions while he was playing the game. So... It was uh, it was interesting to see. Uh, Calgar says, "What is uh, first on your games purchase list? Or are you going to wait and take advantage of P- PS Plus for a while?" For myself, man, that's a good question. It looks like, like I said, Need for Speed Rivals would be the one that I'll probably buy. It's a very strange thing to have a console and not have a game to play it on, or not have a game to play on it. Mm-hmm. Um, if this had backwards compatibility, which my PS3 did, I could put in one of my old games and just there they i got a game i can play on it but uh, talked about launch titles before and i've got nothing really that uh there's plenty i want to play nothing i really want to own yeah you can still hear his controller coming in through the headphones or coming out of the uh controller there it's interesting with all this music in fact i could turn it up so you could hear what it actually uh is doing see if i can get this loud enough I have no idea if that's coming in through the uh, through the microphones or not. In the event that it's not, I'm going to talk some more because I'm not exactly sure if it's coming through or if it's not coming through. But anyway, he's going to play this for a little while. Should probably hand that uh, over to RJ at some point and let him have a go at it just to uh, just to get the feel of playing a game on the PS4. You're eventually going to get this, right? You're eventually yeah, going to get a wow, PS4. Like I said, I'm just going to wait till the library builds up some before I. Uh Go in on it. I was honestly hoping we could somehow get a copy of Injustice because mm-hmm. uh, there's a PS4 edition of that. Yeah, I saw it on the uh, on the uh, PlayStation Store list. Yeah, mm-hmm. kind of complete edition, I believe. Something yeah. that you could play because it's like I got nothing, man. There's nothing <laughs> right now that I want, so I don't know what my first purchase is going to be. It's going to be an exclusive, and it's probably going to be infamous uh, if I did not have Need for Speed Rivals or have that itch to want to play something on my next gen system. I'm on the I'm on the same fence, by the way, with Xbox One. Mm-hmm. I'm still on that situation of there's not a there's not a game on there that I want to own. Mm-hmm. Play yes, own not so much. I yeah. do want to play Loco Cycle, and uh, we're gonna have you know Twisted Pixel on the show uh, a couple of weeks from now, and so I'll be able to play that, and it's an exclusive, but it's also a digital title. It's not a physical copy of the game, so I don't know. And uh, the exclusives on that is even worse. As far as what I'm going to be picking up, this is my own personal preference, by the way, yeah. folks. So if anybody else has disagreements, that's fine. Um, I'm sure there's some games that you guys really want to play. Titanfall is a big one for that system, but because it's releasing on PC as well, I'm headed over to PC to play that. on PC. I really am. Else, I'm headed yeah. over to PC on that, um, unless of course the majority of my friends, and here we go, uh, want to play it on the Xbox One. Would you see yourself getting both versions if that's the case? Uh, 
I don't like doing that. Yeah. I really don't like doing that. I've been that. in that situation before. But, well, mm. put it this way. If uh, this, will, this will be talked about the closer we get to release of Titanfall. It's like, which way are you going on this? Well, I'm going Xbox One because I don't have a PC. Well, I'm going PC because I'd rather have the visuals there and that sort of thing. Depending on where the, the stack sits as far as the people I'm going to be playing with, uh, I'll go that system first. Mm-hmm. And I probably won't go back. You know, I probably won't go back to the other system unless I can pick it up on a sale of some sort. Yeah. But even then, if the if the players aren't there for me to play with, it's not going to be a purchase for me. It's not going to be something I want to buy. So, looking at it from from that perspective, uh, that's really a case of where the players go. So shall I. You know, where my friends go, that's where I'm going with them. So. Uh, let's see. Disk System says, why is this being streamed with a webcam when the PS4 has a built-in stream function? Um, welcome to in-game chat. <laughs> uh, and this is the only way that we can get the audio that we've got uh, going through. This is a this is you know a radio show, and it ends up being a YouTube uh, thing and a podcast and everything else. So this is just how we have this set up for this time. Uh, next week, I'll be back, and we'll have an Xbox One hooked up to the TV, and we'll be going through it. Um, and going over the, the stuff with that and give RJ a chance to look at an Xbox One and put a controller in his hand and play around with it, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll see how that goes. Um, but that's probably uh, how we'll have that set up. Let's see. Any other questions out of the chat room? Yeah, they can't stream the radio show audio through the PS4. That's exactly why we have it set up um, the way that we have it. I hope more people go for the PC on Titanfall. I don't plan on owning an Xbox One for a while. Uh, Matt, you sit in the same situation that a lot of people do. If you heard the interviews we took, and I know it's just a short chunk of people from a much larger group, mm-hmm. um, there were quite a few people who said, nope, I'm sticking with I'm sticking with Sony. There's also a lot of people saying I don't have PC. Um, so there's going to be some people not playing Titanfall at all. Uh, but as for what games people were looking forward to, Titanfall didn't come up. We had a couple of Destinies in there, Watch Dogs, uh, being something people were looking forward to, and uh, the Diablo 3 uh, port on the PS4, I believe, uh, something else that they were looking forward to. So that's all uh, remains to be seen. How's he doing over there? How's his score going? Has he? Oh, is he at the boss fight again? This was giving him fits last night while he was playing, trying to uh, beat this boss. You know, this reminds me of the boss in Hardcore Contra, um, Hardcore Uprising, multi-tiered, circular type of thing. You had to work your way inside and finally get to the middle. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> All how long did how long were you uh, trying this boss earlier when you were playing it uh, last night? Last night, yeah. uh, not terribly long. Uh, I was drunk. <laughs> yeah, he had been. He, he came over with his. With his bottle and was like, yeah, let's let's get down to this. Let's play this. There you go. Ah! Oh! That's pants. Wow. Man. Get in there. Quick. For those who didn't see it, James got robbed on that one. Had a, he had did. a perfect camera's one, and then he got not, uh, robbed. The camera's not participating very well in the... Uh... No, it's not. In the radio show? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Do the bomb. <laughs> That's nice. Very the whole screen, exp- yeah, very, very voxels and pixels and everything else are, are yeah, look at mm-hmm. that, wow. Is that the first time you've beaten that? Yeah, I, I gave it a couple of shots last night, but I couldn't, <laughs> you know, do much. Finally so. finished the level, there you go. So that's Resogun, and uh, RJ, if you want to have a chance of playing that, go right ahead. I know those are your, uh, Shot. your fun no titles doing, for you. Though. Well, thumbsticks, uh, move with the, with the left thumbstick and you shoot with the right thumbstick. Okay. And then R2 throws human. Throwing humans. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, in fact, he'll get into that. We're going to take our last break of the hour, and when we come back, we will have more in-game chat, more PS4. And uh, if you got any questions, throw them up in the chat room, and uh, we will answer them as best we can, either physically or from what we know um, so far about the system. That's so weird, the audio coming through the control. We'll be right back with more in-game chat.
And welcome back to in-game chat. Currently uh, talking up the PS4 and uh, taking your questions in the chat room and uh, displaying a PS4 in the stream that we're doing right now. Currently, uh, RJ is playing Rezogun. And I haven't been paying attention, but how's he looks like he's doing a pretty good job there. Yeah, I'm making this up as I go along. I'm, trust me on this, people. <laughs> yeah. Move and shoot. Move and shoot. While you're doing that, when you get a minute, press the PS button. Okay. So yeah, you can, now you can go check your friends list, and then you can go, uh, I don't know, go to let's see, I don't Can know if you go to the store. Yeah, you go to the store, maybe. I guess, and download everything. And you, now. Can, you can always see which application is still running because it's got the little uh, yeah. circle icon. Now, if you press press the PS button again, it should take you right back into it. Okay. Well, resume. Yeah, all you did was press, and it went in there. You didn't actually click on start or anything like no, that, did you? No, just hit resume, yeah. Yeah. Warning. That audio you hear is his controller talking to him while he plays the game. Now, yeah, unfortunately, the webcam isn't keeping up terribly well. Is it not? Okay. No, no it's keeping up rather poorly. Gotcha. But, uh, well, uh, while he's playing, if you hit the share button, um, I think it'll take you out and give you the share options. And, yes, he does have to look. And there it goes. Takes him out to the share options, and that's how you can do that. You actually do broadcast gameplay. You can actually start streaming it. Although it would cut our stream off because we're signed into our Twitch account right now. So mm -hmm. <laughs> don't uh, don't jump into that for the moment. But you can take screenshots, and then you can upload video clips. I think you can go and edit video clips if you want to. We haven't really, James and I haven't really dived into that mm -hmm. section of. Uh, Seems like you got a little preview going on in the upload video clip section. Yeah, my understanding is that when you when you choose to upload a video, it's acting like a DVR. It's mm -hmm. always recording gameplay of what you're doing. So at any point when you hit the share button and it brings up this menu, what it's showing you is the last 15 minutes cached of your mm -hmm. gameplay. Okay. So if you want to upload a video clip, you will select that clip, and then you should be able to go into it and edit it to find the very specific portion you're looking yeah, for. The highlights and whatnot. Yeah. Right, if there's okay. a 15-second or a minute or three-minute portion that you're looking to edit down, you can find that, narrow it down, clip it out, and share just that portion. I think okay. this is something that would come in handy for people who play fighting games because those don't necessarily last about 15 minutes. Right. I mean, no, that, well, they can. It depends. You're running a if you're looking to just like a, that, but yeah, for yeah. It, But an individual match you know, wouldn't go that long. But, yeah, you can definitely uh, get a match and uh, edit it the way you want to and put the highlights of it uh out on stream or whatnot. Hmm. So going back, is that every everything goes back with the uh, place at home button, right? As far as I know, as far as you know, yeah. I, I don't really, you know. There you go. It takes okay. you to that. Well, actually, you're in the. Uh, so if you went back to that game, mm -hmm. uh, try and do that. Hit the hit the PS button. Okay, so it'll take you there. If oh, you just, okay. I think you have to back out of that, and just it'll take you back to the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just back yeah. Out takes you fine. right back into the game. So. Okay. There's a little bit of a learning curve, I think, with the new UI. I'm not entirely sure that I like it. I see now why it is so different from the cross media bar, but I was a big fan of the cross media bar, so I feel like I'm not as positive about what they're doing right now. But I do understand it, given the functionality that they've added to the system. I, I understand it. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen it operate correctly yet, I don't think, because uh, you're supposed to default to the what's new portion of the UI. That doesn't seem to be working at the moment. We haven't tried party chat. Yeah, uh, the, the profile management seems perfectly fine, hmm. but... The what's new portion was actually working last night, but for some reason it's not working today. Um, see, so I'm not even sure. Uh, I received a new name request. Um, name request, we didn't really talk too much about that, but go into my friends list there. Okay. As we show off people's names. Um, and then you can scroll over, and you can see where Nick, who is BA Penguin, uh, mm -hmm. runs Co-Optimus. Um, I had him as BA Penguin. I sent a, a name request, and so now we're on some kind of, it's like a circle within a circle type, type situation. Right. You're friends, but now you're friends plus, I guess. Mm -hmm. you're, not a, you're real friends. Yeah, something you're like... You're willing to, to share actual names. Yeah, not, exactly. Not just PSN IDs. So it doesn't just share your name. And Adam Blue, who runs BlueGamer.net, uh, and you can go through there, and you can you can ask to send uh, name requests to those. In fact, Fitbabits, click on his. Okay. He's playing AC4. Just send name request. Click it and send a name request to him. 
And then we'll see if he responds and we get a uh, name request. He may not want his information out there. It's uh, just up to him mm -hmm. if he wants to do that or not. So uh, that's how it works. Your friends list, I think, is up to like 2,000 people if you want to have it. You know, that many. I just started adding pretty much anybody now. Um, I used to have to make room and get rid of some people who hadn't signed on in years. But now it's like, ah, don't have to worry about that anymore. You can stay on if you want to. Because mm -hmm. um, it's just, just never going to have to worry about it. So... Anyway, that's uh, that's a look at the UI um, and and how that all works. It seems like your cross media bar is at the top now, with the way that situation is. As such as it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah everything's at the top now. And I'm and I'm curious to see how big that stuff gets at the bottom. If it just lines up with all the games that you own, uh, how long is that bar going to get? You know, is it going to just keep scrolling to the right um, to find out everything that's in? And you can go into the library. And that'll show you the things that you've downloaded. I think I've got Netflix and, and Amazon. Tried to download Contrast. It was going to take forever before we got to it. So um, we killed the download uh, while that was going on. Let's see. Uh, any other questions uh, in the chat room for this? And has there been any other news? Basically, it's all been PS4 stuff. You know, the reviews for this wasn't really knocking it out of the park. Well, what are we talking about? Are we talking about the hardware or are we talking about the games? I would say both. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I think reviewing the hardware at this stage is pretty ridiculous undertaking. I don't think you can actually It was very interesting to have some of these reviews posted because they had only had 12 hours to mess with the machine since they had put the patch out. And you really couldn't do anything other than play games without that patch. Right. And so they only had about 12 hours to, uh, to get their reviews. But nothing earth-shattering, nothing uh, you-must-own-this-system type situation. There have been a handful, like a really, really small handful, num handful of people that have had bricked systems. Seems to have been a number of different problems. Some of it uh, that occurs during updates. Uh, some of them about either poorly machined or poorly mm. installed. Now, is that the first uh, run? HDMI or ports. Is that the first run, or just the ones that are um, like those pre, like um, the ones that come winners? Type, yeah, like yeah I think they're all pretty <laughs> much from the same batch of fabrication, most likely. Yeah. I would yeah. say that uh, promotional promotional uh, issues. The promotional right. System, there was a lot of people saying. having problems with their Amazon boxes. Mm -hmm. They're the ones they purchased from Amazon. And I know a lot of people on COG were like, I got my Amazon box and it's packaged. Basically, it's um, the, PS f the, the PS4 box is inside another cardboard box, but it sits on the bottom of that cardboard box and it has the air bubbles on top of it. Nothing on the bottom to give it that cushion, just on the top. So mm -hmm. as it's tossed around. Poorly packaged, though, the way, yeah. As you would do, and then people are finding out that their systems aren't, aren't working that well. There was the old uh, HDMI situation right. that uh, that people had where one of the, was it, one of the teeth on the, the HDMI, I think, was lifted up or something like that, and it couldn't make a good connection, mm. and then people were having problems there, so... Uh, there's been some uh, been some struggles here with the launch, and of course you've had PSN issues, but that's that was going to happen regardless of if you were having anything else. You you were going to have network issues day one yeah. when you asked people to download a patch mm -hmm. um, day one for your system um, to operate. So, uh, Noobsaw says I got my Amazon box too. It was packed the same way, but it worked fine, thankfully. Yeah. So and it's fifty fifty on the uh, on the total reviews. biscuit. Apparently, uh, he bought his, and apparently his disc drive. Won't, take, won't discs. take discs. Something we haven't that's, tested. That's a problem. We haven't tested Maybe that yours on this won't one. either. Yeah. I haven't even stuck a Blu-ray in the thing uh, to even play anything. No 3D out of the out of the gate. Uh, that'll be patched in, I guess, later if it ever does. But the, no 3D on the system, which is strange since the PS3 had 3D, although it was a feature that was patched into the system. A lot of people that's another. You it. know, It's a lot more next Tuesday stuff. Yeah. It's a lot more Star Trek Generations, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't get the, the reference. The, the beginning of Star Trek Generations, the the, the first uh, next generation movie that they did. Oh, right? okay. The whole like fifteen minute intro, where like Captain Kirk and and Scotty and Chekhov and everybody were on board the Enterprise B, mm -hmm. right? And it's like the fancy new, it's the Enterprise B, right? And then like, you know like uh, Cameron from uh, Ferris Bueller was the captain, and they were gonna do all this stuff, and it was a big media event, and they were just gonna do a whole bunch of interesting things, and they was just you know it was a big on camera media event, and uh, things kept coming up, and the captain would ask him like. Well, do, you know, do, do you have like this thing? And he's like, well, that's you know, it's being installed next Tuesday. Oh, gotcha. Right, because this is just a, you know, this isn't the real launch or anything. This is being installed next Tuesday, and then the whole thing blows up, and they have to go out there, and like all hell breaks loose, and like they're saving people, and they're the only ship close by, and like, 
you know, what about the tractor beam? Like, what about this thing? What about, like, the shields and all this other stuff? And he's like, it's, you know, let me guess, next Tuesday, right? Yeah. Everything was being installed next Tuesday. And then what happened? Captain Kirk died. <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying, like, I don't know what I'm saying. But, uh, <laughs> you might you know, die you know, you know before what happens? they put yeah, this in. You know what happens when, uh, when, when uh, uh, Assassin's Creed 4 comes out at 900p instead of 1080p? Right. Captain Kirk dies. Yeah. We'll patch so in the 1080p. Think about that. We'll, we'll patch in the 1080p next Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> so there is an awful lot of that. So if, if you if you count kind of the half baked or quarter baked uh, feature set for a lot of the games and for the system itself, if you figure that a lot of the things that really maybe could have been there at launch aren't, I mean, can you imagine honestly as happy as we are in general with what the system is, if that that full suite of free to play online games had made it, if. Uh, if Watch Dogs was here today, we should, by, by all rights, be playing Watch Dogs right now. Can you imagine? And look, they're only missing it by about three months. Can you imagine if they had made Infamous I know. for this launch? Yeah. Man. See, Infamous mm. is the one I don't have a choice on. I want to see. What the, do you mean you don't have a choice? Watch Dogs. I can go PS, or PC oh, or PS4. Oh, well, it's an, yeah. that's usually what exclusive means. I know, but that's what I, that's, that was my point is that even if Watch Dogs was here, I'd still be playing it on my PC. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean, but I, I think everyone sort of understands without explanation that you don't have a choice on Infamous, right? Um, and that's one of the things that I was that I was telling James about when we got back from well, when he came over last night, we were hooking this thing up. Was that you know, it's, it's a shame I don't have any games, you know, really meaty games to play with. The Resident Gun is a great game, by the way, um, but uh, and it's one of the things that I haven't had with a launch system in a long time, actually. Last time I remember that, I wanted an Xbox not because it was next generation and not because of what it was going to bring. I wanted an Xbox because I wanted to play Halo, and that's what mm -hmm. was out, and that's what I wanted to play with it. PS2 had, um, what did I have for it? SSX, uh, which is still really good. SSX and, uh, and Summoner and Midnight Club uh, were some oh, Summoner. Man, I always forget about Summoner. Yeah. Summoner, uh, that was uh, the launch title for, for the system. And it was like, I want to play those games. That's why I want to own that system. The PS3 and the Xbox 360, I bought, what did I have for the PS3? I didn't have any of the launch titles for PS3. I was, I was sitting there with nothing to play on my PS3. Um, with the exception, I think, of Hell Living Sword, and that was a rental. Um, but, uh, but I didn't have anything uh, to play on it. And my Xbox 360... Uh, the launch lineup on that was pretty bleak. Now, the PS3, I will go back and say it had back... My system had backwards compatibility. So I still had my PS2 games I could pop in there and play. Um, but my 360, I had Cameo, I think, for was the first game I ever played on that system. And But it was not a situation of, I want to play Cameo, so I'm buying an Xbox 360. Uh, I bought an Xbox 360 for what it was going to have with it later on down the line, and I picked up Cameo because it was just there for me to play. Uh, sitting here with the PS4 and the Xbox One, I'm it's pretty much of, the same thing. I'm still in the same situation. I but don't they're a have, little bit broken. Yeah, true. I mean, I'm assuming we can expect the Xbox One to be a little bit broken, but at the moment, the PS4 is a little broken, incomplete, half baked. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's feature incomplete. I think right now, even not even setting aside all the games that aren't out for it right now, the system itself is not a hundred percent up to where it ought to be. Or ought to have been. And you can expect system revisions on this thing, I'm sure. Probably some with more ports or with <laughs> maybe with another uh, leg on the other side of the system so it doesn't <laughs> wobble. <laughs> that'll be a feature on the box. Mm. Uh, this one doesn't wobble. And, you know, that, that'll be what people talk about towards the end of this generation. I had the wobble version. I had oh, the, sure. Uh, yeah. Right. I had the one that wobbled. Uh, or some situation like that. And again, I like that, uh, I, from what I understand, the Xbox One will not give you, you cannot change out the hard drive on that one, I believe. You, the hard drive is not user accessible. Uh, however, you can or will be able to use external. external. Yeah. Can't do that on the PS4. No external drive, but it is user serviceable. Yeah. So it's, you know, it trades one for the other with mm -hmm. each system um, that you want to go with. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? James, after messing about with the machine, has this swayed you in any which way? No, it hasn't. Not particularly what I am. Any swaying has been to make me just, just to think it's very real. Now the system is out. The clock is definitely ticking within 
six months uh, for sure, to some degree three months, we ought to have an awful lot of things out that I'm, or at least a few things out that I'm really, really interested in playing. That's the only thing that does it for me. If I was basing my decision, and in all honesty here, if I was basing my decision just on the experience a person can have right now, putting their hands on the system, ah, doesn't do anything for me. It absolutely doesn't do anything. It has no magic whatsoever. None. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look any better. We're not, we didn't make an HD leap. We didn't move to a new uh, delivery method. We didn't, we didn't move to a new – there was no format war. There wasn't really anything. And so there's no associated magic. There's nothing about the system that is itself incredibly compelling in a way that my world wasn't two days ago. You know, Twitch streaming isn't a new thing. With external hardware, you've been able to Twitch stream with your consoles forever now. I mean, you know, forever being however long. Mm -hmm. uh, it's certainly something you can do much better with much more variation and much more control on the PC. So not to rehash that whole argument, but having the console in your hand, sometimes a little bit of uh, a little bit of the spark and the interest and the newness kind of rubs off and and works its way into your world. And you think, yeah, this actually is like. It's pretty, pretty neat. This is a lot of fun, but that's, that's not really happening right now. As ever, it's the promise of what I'm going to have in, in three to six months. Yeah, as I was walking, um, as I was walking out of the office Thursday, uh, I said, I'm going to go and uh, get my PS4 tonight. And uh, the receptionist at the front said, yeah, I think, uh, I think he's going to wait and get one and, and, and make sure everything's, the bugs are ironed out of it. And I said, yeah, smart people would do that. Um, but I'm never, It'll do that. I've never claimed to be one of those, so I'm going to get mine, uh, get mine now. So, uh, so far, again, uh, to alleviate any fears on that, this is, with any new system, it's essentially a dice roll like this, especially when you hear that other machines are having issues and other players are having issues with their, with their system. It's a dice roll. It's, mm. you know, and this thing, I believe it comes with a year warranty already from Sony, um, but... When you buy it, if it works, that's great. If it doesn't, you're gonna have to go through the process of getting another one, and um, and that's fine. But I don't think that there's anything that you can read or that I can say or that anybody can say or tell you that is gonna kind of alleviate that fear or or, or guarantee that you're gonna come away with a great system. It's just a it's luck of the draw on, on stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So, are we gonna hear about problems with the Xbox One? Maybe not. I would love almost to, certainly. But yes, I would love to have even if it's Microsoft system who hasn't done a great job at getting their message out, um, and 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 has kind of been for the majority of people been looked at as the bad guy in this situation or the 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 lesser of them. Um, if they were to put out a machine that was just this this stone rock of stability, I'd be happy about that. I'd be grateful. It'd be something to crow about really it'd be a it'd be a great thing mm -hmm. i just don't think we're gonna get there with it i really don't think that's gonna happen i don't know how bad the problems are gonna be probably gonna be minimal you're probably gonna have issues trying to connect to xbox live to get that day one update mm -hmm. they have not mentioned anything about downloading the day one update to a thumb drive or anything like that and doing some kind of offline update for it so and if they don't then you can really expect xbox live to have problems um, we, we went through having problems with Xbox Live when we had the launch systems and even a little bit ways after the launch. It was, in fact, we had Xbox Live problems as games released, not as the system released. But when a new multiplayer game would release, Halo, Crackdown, Crackdown had multiplayer? I can't remember. Um, but Halo. Not initially. And um, what's that one we played? Ghost Recon uh, gave us yeah. all sorts of faults when we were trying to play it on the 360. What is he? He's getting back into Resogun. So, you know, it's going to be uh, it's going to be one of those things. And so hopefully we want everybody to have a good system that, that isn't going to have uh, any kind of problem. So uh, and hopefully that'll be the uh, that'll be the end of it. So let's see. <clears throat> going over the chat room here. Hitting the PS button during playback will not bring you back to the main menu. The playback will have to end before you get there. It shows a prompt. Noob Sauce had put in a Blu-ray disc. And so he's telling us what happens when you do that. Uh, it'll show you a prompt. It won't take you directly back. It brings a prompt saying, you sure you want to stop? And then it'll take you back, that sort of thing. Somebody had asked, can you save games on a USB thumb drive? I don't know. I don't know either. I haven't mm -hmm. checked up on that and haven't even thought about doing that because I'm a PS Plus. I get the cloud. 
um, I get space on the cloud and I can upload my saves up there. Uh, and I believe when you initialize the system, it says, "Do you want to do you want to use the cloud for your your saves?" And mm-hmm. I of course said yes. Yeah. So if you are a PS Plus member, you get a certain amount of space on the cloud to upload your saves. Um, can you send messages in game? Did they finally fix that? They said no. You, he's got. He's going through the settings, the different things that you can see there, and how you can do the connections and stuff like that. It's uh, there's a lot to it. If you've got a Vita, go ahead and get yourself set up with that. Um, if you're picking up a Vita when you pick up your 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 PS4, I think you'll be in for uh, a nice little combination of stuff. Boy, thing works very well with PS Plus though. You get a lot of free games. You're a PS Plus member, right? Yeah. I tried to send you a name request, and it mm-hmm. wouldn't let me do that. Mm-hmm. Gave me an error code, basically because you're on a PS3. Right. But I did. Uh, we were able to see that you were playing games last night mm-hmm. while we were doing. What do you know? Did you check and see what it showed for us? No, I didn't. I see don't know it. if I you did. I, think I, I didn't think. I didn't check. For yeah, you were too like busy that. playing a game. We were yeah. too busy looking at UI. So. <laughs> Um, you were doing what you do with the system, yeah. and we were just uh, going over the, because we don't have a game to play on yeah, it. Yeah, well, understandable then. But, uh, oh, another thing, uh, consumer note for you. If you have, like I do, a PS3 fat original 60 gig, or what did you have? You had the 40 gig, but had you had, you had the 40 gig, what was that? What was what? Was it, a, I thought you had like the Metal Gear Solid version or something like that, maybe not. No. Okay, it was just regular 40 gig. Yes. Um, your plug your power cord will not trade out with this one. Um, right. This the, uses the, uh, the, the, the two pin. Yeah, this is the two pin cord, whereas the original versions of the, the PlayStation grounded. was the P- three pin uh, grounded. So I was all set to be like, hey, all I got to do is just disconnect my PS3. I don't even have to unplug anything. Mm-hmm. I can use the same HDMI cable. I can use the same uh, Ethernet cable. I can use the same power cable. Was not the case. Wow. Um, had to use the one that comes in here. In fact, right now, because I couldn't reach back there, James did all this stuff for me last night, plugging this thing in. Because I couldn't reach back there, I grabbed my Vita charging cable. And that's what we're using to have the uh, PlayStation 4 plugged into the wall here at the radio station. Because hmm. um, any of those pins will work. So, And I happen to have one of those with my, my Vita. Plugged it in and uh, worked fine. So... I'm answering a couple of little things uh, in Go the chat it. room right now. Uh, no, I'm just I'm answering them by oh, working things I on the see. screen. People wanted to see the uh, network setup. Uh, we also want to show the trophies menu at some point. Oh, okay, yeah. Go for it. Uh, we got about eight minutes left uh, in the show, so if you've got some quick questions that you want us to answer, throw them up in the chat room, and uh, and we will get there and do that. But we've got the Xbox One launching next week, and we will be um, we'll be bringing the Xbox One in here and see what we can do with that. Uh, if we can get that thing up and running. A couple of questions coming out. The trophy menu, CD, uh, da, da, da. I don't know what that is. The glorious lair statue. I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, what else did we have? Oh, abduction. Reached its funding. Oh, did it? It did. Not and a surprise, really, given the pace they were on. No. Um, Abduction, if you're unfamiliar, is the game from uh, Cyan Worlds. We interviewed Rand Miller a couple of weeks back. I was giddy with excitement getting to talk to that man. And uh, they were kickstarting a new game called Abduction, due sometime in the fall of 2015. And uh, they reached their funding this morning, early this morning. Well, they reached their funding a couple of days ago, but the, the campaign ended uh, early this morning. And they made one of their stretch goals. That stretch, stretch goal is a pretty big one. It was uh, Oculus Rift support. If you know anything about Myst games, putting Oculus Rift support in one of their titles is a beautiful thing. To have that first-person immersion. Their games were all about immersion for me. I would turn off the lights. I would turn up the volume of, of, what I was, of, the, of the speakers that I had. These <laughs> really horrible speakers on an old, what was it, uh, 460 DX40 or something like that. It was an old, old PC. Um, but yeah, Oculus Rift support would is is is, is something I'm I'm eager to see. I'm working on getting an Oculus Rift dev kit, and we will have uh, we will have impressions of that if I can get that thing to come in. But I'm I'm in the process and talking with a guy who has one. He's going to sell it to me, and we're gonna 
we're gonna we're gonna have an Oculus Rift dev kit to mess around with, and I'm really excited about that. So, but anyway, congratulations to Cyan Worlds for getting uh, abduction funded and for reaching the stretch goal. So. Uh, what are you looking at now, James? You going to uh... well? One of the things we took a look at uh, by request was the trophies menu. Okay. Uh, the sync is awfully fast compared to what you would get on the PS3. And one of the interesting things I'll pop back there real quick is each trophy now has a rarity stat. Wow, that's I much faster. I saw that. Actually, yes. Yeah, or, yeah. You can see that, that, the, that the sync is much much quicker. And if we go into uh, Beyond Two Souls, for example, uh, the first thing you'll see is the platinum. And it is listed as ultra rare, with I'm assuming that to be 1.3% of players having earned it. Mm. So each individual trophy, common, 90.4%, uh, common, 60.1%. Yes, that's interesting. I like that. That's a little closer to what the Steam Achievements has. If you do comparisons with uh, other players Very in, true. in, in the Steam Achievements. What, a, what about the same four? Uh, what? But bronze, uh, bronze, silver, gold. Uh, platinum, platinum. I believe so. Yeah, so I believe just, so. Just a different, same thing, different name. Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, the the trophy name is the same, but it's yeah. each trophy is given a listing for how common. Yeah, it is there's a, yeah. there's the common and there's rare, then there's very rare, and then there's ultra rare. Okay, so um, for extra, those. Okay. Uh, or did oh, you, is that what it is? Uh, I believe so. You can okay. see it better in I think flower. Okay. So um, there are five of them and five of them now in this one. Okay. I want to say because I was looking at flower and I thought that's interesting. There's ultra. There's, see, there's very rare. Oh very well, that's rare. less than one percent completion. That's point seven percent. Yeah. Point two percent. One point nine percent. Yeah. See, very rare, ultra rare, common, and then just rare. I suppose just mm -hmm. regular old rarity. So, were you doing a compare trophies uh, situation there no, for not a minute? Yet. Oh, okay. He's going to select anybody. Oh, okay. There's a, uh, as you can see at the top, there's Agent Gray who has a level of 12, and then I have 9. He's got 9%. I've got 46%. I'm guessing this is with maybe comparing our PS4 trophies that we have. I'm not exactly sure how that's working. Because he may not be a PS4 member. He may not be a, a PS4 owner at the time. So, Indication of how many... Uh, how many people have completed a game? Finished a game trophy. via trophy rarity. Assuming, uh, well, I think you could probably get it based off of the percentage listed on the trophy. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, display settings. Did you check that out? I did not check Nabokov that out. would like to know about display settings. HDMI, full sound screen. Um, he's going to show you, but we went through this. You can uh, uh, tell it to, you know, it can auto-detect the size of your screen. You can also select it if you'd like to. Um, and he's going through and, and messing around with that at the time. Um, maybe sound and screen. Maybe that's where it is. Or did you already find it? No, I yep, didn't. There it is. Find sound it. and there screen. Is. There you go. Display area settings. Video output settings is probably something he'd like to see, uh, knowing Nabokov as we do. Try and get those up for you as we uh, close out the show. So hopefully you can check on that, and uh, hopefully you can get the information that you'd like to have there, Nabokov. But anyway, thanks everybody for joining us in the chat room and everybody listening on the stream and on the radio as well. We appreciate everybody who was listening on the radio or uh, or not even watching the stream because I'm sure this was interesting to see. Thanks for throwing my info up there. <laughs> <laughs> Full name and everything. That's fine. You know what? We'll take it. Uh, we'll take friend request and all sorts of stuff. We really do appreciate that. So, anyway, thanks, everybody. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to join us on Twitter, Facebook. Check us out on our forums at colonyofgamers.com. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and to the Twitch channel that you may be watching right now. And if you're on Steam, we've got a Steam group that you can join up with over there and play games with us and other listeners. And, of course, as you could see on the stream, there is my uh, PlayStation ID. You can add me. You can check out my friends, and you'll find James. You'll find RJ. Uh, we're all on PS3, and there's a forum over at Colony of Gamers where you can find us on any of these platforms, on Twitter, on Facebook, everywhere. So check that out. Once again, thanks, everybody, for joining us. We will see you next Saturday.